Okay, looks like it's clear. Some red dots right behind this building. You know what that means? It's time to set up camp. Prepare for a camping of a lifetime. Camping like a champion. What can I say? It's it's the it's the way the cookie crumbles for me. It's camp like a champion, you always win. Oh, that is just that is a fake video. How did that Claymore not kill me? That is a fake video. I know somebody's gonna go up those stairs. It's a hot spot. It is a known area. I know this. I for the past eight years of playing Call of Duty, I know somebody's gonna come up those stairs. We'll go up the stairs. Oh, there he is. What did I just tell you? Jeez, look at this. Spawned in and everything. It's already a close game. The game is nearly half done. Let's see if I can if I can just help my teammates here, you know. Clutch. I'm known for doing that. And that's not me being selfish. Now I'm I just gotta sprinkle some Call of Duty news for you guys. So you guys have been hearing the rumor lately about the next Call of Duty game, Call of Duty 2017. It seems it's been confirmed. It's been confirmed that the next Call of Duty game will be Call of Duty World War II. Now I've been watching some Hollow Point, another YouTuber. I usually like to watch with a bunch of other YouTubers I usually watch. So it seems that a guy who works at Sledgehammer confirmed that the next Call of Duty game will be based in a in a World War Two setting. This is this is some this is some big news. This is what they meant by having Call of Duty go back to its roots. Boots on the ground, World War II, the classic. I mean, what is there to be disappointed? We got what we want, no more jetpacks, no more futuristic. We got boots on the ground and World War II. It's the things we actually wanted. It's actually a list of things that I really wanted from this game, and they are actually doing it. Oh, kudos to Sledgehammer Games, boys. Give them a round of applause. Now, am I disappointed that it's not Vietnam and it's World War II? Absolutely not. This is really what they meant by going back to its roots. Call of Duty started out as a boots on the ground World War II first person shooter. It's how it started, it's how, how we loved it, and it uh, evolved into modern games, uh, distant future games, and way out there to future that doesn't make any sense type of game. Uh, I enjoy, um, I enjoyed World at War. It'll probably be the closest comparison we're gonna get to this upcoming game, but like lack of uh, graphics and stuff. The only issue I have with the decision of going back to World War II is how are the kill streaks going to work? Now, what I mean is, like, what are your options for kill streaks? I know there's going to be a UAV in there because of spy planes and stuff like that were there at the time. Because for vehicles in World War II, we had from tanks on the ground to planes up above. And I'm not sure what you can have in between that, because um, there was no helicopters, as I said. Um, so you, I think you could have a user-controlled tank, uh, you know, to, you know, use. Um, sentry turrets, and they're like they were in the Call of Duty for some time. Uh, now those won't play a major factor. Um, I, I liked what uh, what Thunder said about. Uh, you can have like kind of like the GI unit, but you can have like a flamethrower unit. And since this will be a World War II setting, um, if you get like this, could be like the highest kills you can get, unless they like automatically put it for every single guy. But you need to have a certain amount of gun kills. Uh, you could have the atomic bomb dropped in the game, since two atomic bombs that were dropped ever like like the only time was in World War II when the Americans dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Um, that could be in there as well. I mean, that would be kind of the one of the exciting killstreaks. You could have dogs 
you know, brings up the world at war kills you back. Um, bombing rays could be, you know, you know, substituted from the uh, artillery strike that was used in World at War. But you know, who knows? I'm not developing this game. You crazy? And a fun fact: I literally just messed up on uh, the recording you guys see on here. I literally had to go to the PS4 recording, you know, save the, the video clip and actually record it off of the thing it was playing off of the PlayStation. So this isn't like in game, this is pretty much already recorded from you know the built-in recording from the PS4. Thank God for that feature. I hope they keep on bringing them back in the later consoles. But um that is pretty much it for me. If you guys have something to say, put it down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever I make. Later.